Hey guys, this is Rohit and today we will see how to make a CocoaPod library with Swift and Xcode. So let's get started. First, uh, we'll go to the path where we want to make a project. So I'll just enter that path. Now, to make the library, you do pod lib create and the name of the project that is RG done keyboard. So I'll just enter that and press enter. Now this will ask you some questions like uh, which platform iOS, language Swift, demo application yes, testing frameworks none, view based testing no and this makes a project and opens Xcode. Now in Xcode you can see that you have the project loaded up in pods you see development pods and RG done keyboard and inside we have this replace me dot swift file so this is the file that we will delete and place our code here now in RG done keyboard we have pod spec metadata and inside that we have the pod spec file the readme file and license and we have the example project so I'll try some things out now and get back to you I'm back and this is the pod spec file, the readme file, the license file. Now in pod spec, as you can see, the source files should be inside RG done keyboard that we have. And inside that we need the classes folder that we do not have right now. So we will make that folder now. Right click and uh, new group classes and we will delete the replace me file right click and uh, delete move to trash now uh, we will select classes and command n or file new file and select a swift file next now this part is important you first name the file we will write rg done keyboard now make sure that it is in classes group classes and the target is not example so we'll remove from there and it should be rg done keyboard so it should not be the test or example it should be the pod itself now you can create the file now we have a file where we can put some code so i'll just paste some code here this is an extension of ui text field that puts a done button on the keyboard for UI text field so we'll go to main.storyboard and let the design load up I'll just get some space okay now let's get a UI text field so we'll drag the text field in the middle and I'll just stretch it out towards the ends and for constraints we will give it leading trailing and we will give it horizontal and vertical in container now see the properties for text field and you can see that there is a done accessory with on and off and we'll run the project now right now it's at default so there will be no button right now we'll just stop the project and now this time in the done accessory we will select on and we will run the project again this time we have the done button and it dismisses done again and it works so what we can also do with this project is uh, apply the same to text view so we'll get a text view now let's drag it out let us stretch it and that much will be fine for constraints we'll give leading trailing bottom and 20 from the top that will be enough now we will turn on uh, the accessory and we don't have it right now so we'll go to the code that we have 
and what I'll do is I'll copy this extension because it is for UI text field right now. We'll paste it and we will make it UI text view. So now we have it for UI text field and text view. We'll go back to the main dot storyboard and now this time if we select it you see that there is a done accessory for UI text view as well. We will turn it on and we will run the project. Now if we click we have the done button. It works. Text field done works. We are done with the project part. Now the next part is the github and there are many ways to do it. I want to show you one where you can create your repo directly from the Xcode project. So let's go to the source control and there is no remote setup right now because this is a new project. Right click on remotes. You can create your repo directly from here or you can add an existing repo but we want to create a new repo so we will click on create remote and that will open up a dialog box as you can see that it is already linked with my github account the repository name is setup the visibility is public we will paste the description and create the repo now let's go to the terminal and check if our remote is set up so we will go to the project and there we will get remote v and that shows that our remote is linked with our project we will add all the changes to the git and we will commit i'll put the message as initial commit initial commit and enter this will commit the git and we will push the changes from the terminal with this command and that pushes all the changes to our remote repo. Next uh, we will check all the changes and they are updated in the repo as you can see 41 seconds ago. So we have successfully uh, pushed all the changes to our remote repo in github. Next we will edit the pod spec file. So I will go to my pod spec file. Let's go to the project navigator and open the pod spec file and we will make some changes. First we will edit the summary. We will paste the summary we had. Now we will change the description. The description should be longer than the summary. So we will paste the summary there and add uh, just import and turn on the accessory. That will do it. Next I will just put my social media URL. I'll just copy that from there and paste it there. Deployment target should be 13. Rest of the stuff I'll copy from my other project. So I'll go there, copy this much and uh, I will paste that here and we do not have it in that. We have it in classes folder. So we will replace that with classes and I don't need that. I also don't need that. So I'll remove that. Okay, so this is done. Now for the next step, we will commit these changes and one file we have changed. I'll write updated pod spec, push to remote and commit the file. So this will commit the changes to the repo. Now in the next step, we need to register a project to trunk and for that I'll paste it in the terminal. What this does is it registers your email address and name to trunk. To verify you will have to click a link that comes in your email address and in a second I'll just show you how it looks when you have clicked that link and that's how it looks when you have clicked that link and that's all for this step and we can move forward to the next step. In the next step, you will have to validate your project using lint. So I'll just copy it up till here and we will check what we have in our project with ls and I'll write pod lib lint and the name of the project file. So that is rg done keyboard dot pack. So 
आज ही डन की बोर्ड डॉट पॉट्स पैक एंड हिट रिटर्न सो दिस प्रोसेस टेक सम टाइम आई हैव स्किप द वीडियो एंड वी हैव पास द वैलिडेशन इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी विल हैव टू क्रिएट अ रिलीज ऑफ अवर प्रोजेक्ट इन गेट अप सो आई जस्ट फास्ट फॉरवर्ड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप गो टू रिलीज एंड क्रिएट वन give it a name a tag version and just create the release the tag version should be the same as your project file and uh, we are done with this step in the last step we will have to push this project on trunk and for that we will have to write pod trunk push i'll go to terminal and uh, pod trunk push and we do not have to mention the name of pod spec file because it is the only pod spec file there and it will take it by default this takes some time i have skipped the video again and finally that it shows the message congrats you have successfully published and it is on this url you can now tell your friends about it so we will go and check it once on the coco pods and there it is Thank you for watching please hit like share the video and subscribe to our channel for more